Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So as you guys remember, a couple days ago, we made a TikTok saying that we were gonna make a 100K special Q&A video. Well guys, guess what? In this video, we're gonna be answering to all of your questions. This is the 100K special Q&A video. We got a lot of questions from you guys. And every YouTube video we've been posting, we get Q&A questions. On TikTok, we got a lot of questions. On our DMs, we got a lot of questions. And we decided to pick the best questions that you guys asked. We wanted to make this a little bit more fun, so we decided to get some raisin canes. We decided to get some food, and while we're answering to your questions, pues comer, you know? Porque no hemos comido nada. We're so hungry. We're starving. If you guys ask something and we didn't answer in this video, we will get to the question. We're gonna be answering to the people we did not put their question in the video in the comment section. So for all those questions that you guys ask and we didn't put in this video, we're still gonna be answering them. We're gonna go to the comment section and we're gonna be replying to them. This video is gonna help you guys understand a little bit more about me and because so guapo, know a little bit about our lives and what we do. So sit back guys, grab a snack, and enjoy this special 100k Q&A video. Mm. So first question, what are you guys' dream car? What are you guys' dream car? What's your dream car, baby? A Lambo. A Lambo? A Lambo. Shit! That's a good car. A Lambo or a Tesla? My dream car is a Mustang GT500. I love Mustangs. Are you both planning to have kids in the further future? Of course, I want a whole soccer team. No siete, baby? Ay, Dios mío. Siete? Six or seven, maybe. That's good. Personally, want more girls than boys. I'll just take literally like two boys or one boy and a bunch of girls. Princesas? Yeah, I miss princesses. Y tu reina. <laughs> Next question. Why you start TikTok? I basically started TikTok because I had a friend when I was working at McDonald's. He told me, hey, you should try to get into this app. You should try to make videos. And I was doing YouTube back at the time. I was doing some pranks at Walmart and everything. I mean, I don't know what TikTok is, but I'm just going to give it a shot. So I downloaded it and that's how it started. I started doing videos and then I just fell in love with the app. And ever since then, I've just been doing a lot of TikToks. Jesus Villanueva asked, where is your dad? I never see him in the videos. Um, unfortunately, my dad passed away four years ago. And that's why, that's why my dad's not in the vlogs. Rest in peace, sir. Isabella Martinez asked, before you guys met, what were your hobbies? I used to play soccer, and I still, I still play soccer sometimes, but before, it was full time. School, soccer, and work. That was it. What about you, babe? Mine was just working. I was just working and trying to figure out what college I wanted to go to or what did I want to like major in and study. Those were all my only like things I was focusing like before I met you. Yeah. Yeah, like just working. Are you guys gonna travel to other states? Yeah, guys, that's the goal. That's what we want. We want to be able to go to a lot of states, get to know the history of a bunch of different places, and we want to take you guys with us. So we're just very excited for that. How old are you guys, and when were you guys born? I am currently 19 years old, and I was born on December 11. I'm currently 21 years old and my birthday was... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm 21 years old and my birthday is October 10th. What is your both favorite sports and colors? Favorite sport is soccer. Favorite color? Black, white, and blue. My favorite sport is soccer too and my favorite color is green. When did you came to the U.S.? I came to the U.S. Uh, like almost three years ago, right baby? Mm -hmm. It was... June 2nd, 2018, when I came to the US. I think you want to read this one, baby. Why does Jessica have a big forehead? No hate here. <laughs> <laughs> baby, why do you have a big forehead? I don't know. I think I honestly, I think I got it from my dad's side of the family because we they all have big heads. So I got it from my dad. <laughs> How old are you and are you thinking of getting married and having kids? And can I please get a shout out in your next video, please? Big and special shout out to you, Kimberly Garcia. Thank you so much for all the support. We really appreciate it. And I'm 19, she's 21. And yeah, we want to get married. We want to have kids. And build a beautiful family. We want to do all that more in the future. Not right now. Why can't you drive? Whoa, it's a long story. I'm going to make it kind of short, but I can't drive because I got my license taken away. When I came here to the US, I was driving without a permit or a license. So one day I got pulled over. I was arrested and then I had a court and they told me that I was still gonna be able to get my license but when the time came I got my license and then I got pulled over again because I was speeding and they just took my license away for one year that was last year so right now I am able to go and get my license I just haven't had time to like go and like do the test again because I think they make me drive again like as a test but I just haven't had time when is y'all's birthday my birthday is December 11 and my birthday is October 10 Jessica where are you from what's your background I was born here in Chicago but my my parents they're from Jalisco so I'm from Jalisco I've lived my whole life here in Chicago. I always go every year. We try to go to um, go to Mexico and visit my family over there in Jalisco, but right now we couldn't because of the whole pandemic. But 
very soon. Do you guys have any future plans together? Yeah, we have um, a lot of future plans together. We want to be able to travel around the world. We want to bring you guys with us. We want to one day get married. We want to have our kids. We want to have our little cabezones running all over the place. <laughs> Why is your dad never in a YouTube video when you go to Mexico or when your mom visits you? My dad passed away four years ago, but I think that if my dad was alive, he would have loved the idea of being in some YouTube videos. What is your favorite dog breed? I love big dogs in general, but I would go for a Golden Retriever or a Husky or a German Shepherd. Well, well, if one day we get a big dog, because I don't like those. I like pugs. I like little dogs. If you get a big dog, tú vas a limpiar las mierdas. <laughs> Okay. I, I'm not gonna clean big shits. <laughs> so I like uh, like I like chihuahuas. I like pugs. I like little dogs. You know. Do any of you guys have siblings? I have I have two sisters and one brother. I have a sister. Her name is Valerie. She's 10 years old. Then I have a sister. Her name is Lundy. She's 19. And the oldest one is my brother. He's 24. His name is Enrique. I have three younger sisters. Before me, it's my 16, almost 16 year old sister named Melissa. Then we have Fatima, which I call her el pinche flaco. And we also have the youngest one, El Gordo, which is six years old. Her name is Camila. <laughs> what was y'all's first day like? What was our first day be like officially first day? When you took me to Chicago, our first day was he went to my house, he asked for permission to take me to the city for a, a whole day. He took me to Navy Pier. Guys, I've been living here in Chicago my whole life and I've never been to Navy Pier until I met him and he took me there for our first date. We went to Navy Pier and then he took me out to eat over there and it was really nice. You liked it, maybe? Yes. I'm glad you did. <laughs> what happened to Jessica's parents? Like, so my parents, my parents are more like old, old fashioned, you know, like they like to keep it low. They just like to keep a more private life. They support the idea of us making videos and everything, but honestly, I don't think you guys will be able to see them in the vlogs. Only like when we get married or stuff, but it's on, but. How old is Jessica? You guys, I'm was 21 years old. Would you like to go on tour to meet your fans when the pandemic's over? That would be awesome. That's that's our plan. We want to be able to travel around the whole country. We want to go to different states. And we would love to be able to meet with you guys. What was both your lives like before you met each other? Well, as I was telling you guys before, I was playing soccer. I was working. I was going to school. And then I applied to McDonald's, which is the McDonald's she's working at right now. She's a manager there. And I was just a normal worker, an employee, a crew member. That's when I met her and everything. And everything just changed. For me, before we met each other, I was just honestly just working and trying to figure out school. I, I was kind of loss honestly like I didn't know like what I wanted to study so I just took time off from school and that's why when Mikabe Son Guapo came to McDonald's I met him <laughs> and yeah the rest just started happening we just started hanging out and getting to know each other does Jessica live with you yes Jessica lives with me what made you start your mom reality mom jokes well basically it's all my childhood like I grew up the same videos that you guys see that I make on TikTok is kind of like my life when I was younger obviously I add a little bit more to it I exaggerate a little bit more but like us Mexicans us Hispanics we relate to all of that so like I wanted to like one day be able to make people laugh in the way of things that I related which which is funny because us Hispanics us Mexicans we experience so many things when we're growing up that sometimes we think that it's only us the things that are happening to us but like the reality is that there's a lot of people that are going through the same things that you're going through so just being able to make videos that you guys can relate to is just awesome just makes me happy Very fun. Q&A how was your childhood well my childhood was honestly it was amazing I remember going out every night like I would leave my house when I was six seven years old you know I'm not about I would go biking with my friends on the streets uh but yo, yo, era, tra yo era travieso yo la verdad me la pasaba para todos lados, me escalabré la cabeza two times because I was doing WWE tricks, este, un desmadre en la escuela, este, llamar a mi mamá para decirle que, que hice esto, que hice lo otro, but honestly, like, pretty good, like, I enjoyed it. How about you, Cosa? For me, my childhood was really, really, really fun. We would, um, todos de los kids in the neighborhood salían, we would play cops and robbers, kickball, and, like, just all over the neighborhood, like, we'll be running around playing cops and robbers, like, that was just really fun. I have a lot of great memories. There was also a point where when I was seven years old, I had to move to Mexico. And um, I was raised in Mexico for like almost eight years. So it was like a hard transition for me to like be in the US and all of a sudden go to Mexico it was like hard for me because first of all the language I wasn't able to speak a lot of Spanish which right now is my primer idioma es lo que hablo más español pues para mí era difícil moverme de Estados Unidos a México acostumbrarme a la gente al idioma 
a las comidas, a muchas cosas, pero al final de todo, valió la pena because I was just happy, you know? I was happy, I grew up over there. Do you love making YouTube or TikTok videos more and why? I honestly love making TikTok videos and YouTube videos the same. Like, I just enjoy it. YouTube is different from TikTok. TikTok is more like a minute videos, 30 second videos, 15 second videos. And YouTube is more like about your life, about what you do behind the scenes of what you're doing in TikTok. So for me, both have a big impact. I love them both. Would you consider doing a gaming channel? Of course, I have my friend Michael, my friend Tyler. I have so many friends that sometimes we play video games and I've, I've talked to them about the idea of one day making a gaming channel and just doing a lot of crazy shit. Like, it would be awesome, it would be so fun. And I know you guys would enjoy it. So if one day I open a gaming channel, I will let you guys know so you can stay tuned. In that. I, I can see you with the gaming channel, guys. Yeah? yeah? You can see me like every night yeah. screaming? Yes. Yeah, like, Michael, Michael! <laughs> it's over there, go, go! It's over, he's over there, he's over there, come on, kill him! I can still see him. What type of person were you both at school? I was, I wouldn't consider myself like smart, but not dumb. Like for me it was, I just, like every time the teacher would assign something, I would try, I would just try to get it done as soon as possible. And after that I would just mess around. I would like literally be running all over the place. I would be talking to all my friends. The teacher would be like, hey, well quiet, like ya cállate, you know, because my school was like in Mexico, part time in my school was in Mexico. So like, it's like different than schools in the US. So I would be at the principal's office, like literally eating at the time that I was supposed to be at lunch. I would be at the principal's office eating. Um, uh, the school would call my mom to come pick me up because I was doing this, I would get suspended. I was a troublemaker, but when it was time to do like assignments and do homework, I was always there. I was always getting good grades and just not failing, you know? So you were the troublemaker and the class clown? I was troublemaker and class clown. I would make everyone laugh. Me? I'm the way opposite. I was very shy and I would get very nervous like around like big crowds and stuff like that. Like no, I always avoided like big crowds, presentations. No, like I would always like to sit in the back, and just be quiet and mind my own business and like people wouldn't even notice me sometimes. Like I would just, I just like to keep it low. Like I didn't like to stand out. What is your favorite Mexican food snack or drink? Viva la raza, güey. Que viva la raza, güey. <laughs> my favorite Mexican food I think has to be los tacos. Honestly, tacos, el pozole, it's awesome. It's my favorite drink, agua de horchata. Oh my god. Would you go get an agua de horchata after this? Yes. You down? Yes. Okay. My favorite food is the same thing, pozole or tacos. You give me either one of those. Oh my god, they're so good. And to drink the same thing, agua de horchata. My question, when did you ask Jessica to be your girlfriend? Yeah, when did you ask me? July, July 23. 2019? Yes! Oh! I was like, you forgot? I always get confused with June and July, so I like think about it a lot. It was July 23rd, guys, 2019. Yeah. What is your zodiac sign? Yo soy Sagittario, Sagittarius. I don't know how to pronounce that, Sagittarius. That's what I am. Okay, and so. mine, mine is Libra. Libra. Ryan Hernandez asks, do you guys like WWE? Bro, I mean, I love it. I don't know about the cabezona guapa, but I love WWE. My favorite WWE superstar is John Cena. He will ever be in my heart. He will ever be in my heart. <laughs> I, I love WWE because I used to watch it with my brother. He would do tricks on us and like flip us, so yeah. My mom used to get so mad at me because literally all the time, yo me agarraba Melissa, mi hermana, así me la agarraba, este, y le hacía el attitude adjustment John Cena, le hacía finishers, y, y me la descalaba, me la descalabraba, y mamá se enojaba, y que, que deja de hacerle trucos a tu hermana, y, oh my god, that was my childhood, just like, jumping around, like, I was, as I was telling you guys, I would jump around the trampoline, grab my sister, do WWE finishers, empezaba a llorar, me metía una pinche chinga, y así pasaba. That was the same thing with me. Yeah. Yeah. Which video game do you like out of all of them you have? My favorite video game has to be, I mean, I don't really have a favorite, favorite one. I could have probably like three favorite ones that I like play a lot, which is FIFA, UFC, and I'm between Call of Duty and WWE. I mean, they're just so, they're different types of games, but I would have to go Call of Duty. Call of Duty, FIFA, and UFC 4. They're just so good. They're awesome. Why did you come to the USA? Well, I came here because I wanted a better opportunity of, of education, of life. You know, back in Mexico, there's not a lot of things you could do and I just wanted to be a better person. I had dreams, I had goals, and I was just willing to do whatever to become someone and to do something out of my life. My plan is to like one day be able to bring my sisters over here, my mom, get her a house. I'm a really religious person. I believe that everything happens for a reason and you just have to like never give up, keep chasing what you love to do. Every opportunity you have, just take it try to get the best out of it, learn from every experience, bad or good. And that's basically what I, that's basically why I came here to be a better person and look for the opportunity. Where did you guys meet? We met at the McDonald's. Natalia Alfaro asked, favorite fast food restaurant? 
Canes. Why aren't you with your mom? Jason Morales asked. Well, I'm not with my mom or my sister because they live in Mexico. I came to the US and I left my family behind. That's why I'm not with my mom. But I do get to see her like sometimes when she comes or when I go over there. Do you all want to have kids? LOL. Yeah, we want to have kids. Unos 10, bro, baby. Unos 10. <laughs> So there you have it guys, this was our 100k special Q&A video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, drop a big like in the video. Thank you all so much for all the love and support, we really appreciate it. We finally made it to 100k subscribers. This family is growing so much and so quick. If we didn't get to answer your questions, don't worry, we're going to get to them in the comment section and we'll be replying to them. We hope you guys got to know a little bit more about us, about our backgrounds, about our life. We're glad to have you guys as part of our family. We love you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching this video and we will see you guys in the next vlog.